Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines and to a rather rainy day here in Avakin. Ah, right. Well, in the last episode, I made a promise that we were going to be expanding the city and expand the city we shall, but that necessitates a redesign of this junction here. So, now this is this is both something I enjoy and something I dread. Specifically a junction on, on the highway. They always seem to not look good when I'm done. Uh, but we'll see if we can perhaps change that here. Now, first thing we're going to have to do, we will have to pause it for this because there's no way that I can possibly get this to do what I want while everything is running. There we go. We've also got a flying... I was going to say truck, but no, we've got a flying tractor. That's even better than the flying truck. Now then, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be laying down a couple of roads to create a nice um, grid for us to work with. There we go, because ultimately I'm going to want this uh, to continue into the next city, but we are first going to have to hook it all up correctly. Now then, with that in place, what I would like to do next is, um, sure, let's actually bring that out all the way. Take this down here. There we go. That all seems to make some sense. We'll get a nice little grid pattern that we can use as the basis for everything else we do here. Okay, it's always important to get all of that sorted first because you don't want to have to try and fix it later. That is, that is not fun. Not even slightly. Right, now that we actually have these kind of pointers for our roads, we're actually going to be building up. Because I want a nice roundabout just above everything else. So let's go up by three, because again, you just want it to be basically nine above the, the road there. That's all it needs to be. Um, that actually looks a little bit low. Quite a lot low, actually. One, two, three, uh, maybe we'll go out a little bit more because I guess this road is a much heavier road. It needs a, a much more uh, capable foundation. And that in turn may have threatened my, uh, my traffic there. There we go. Now from here, we can go ahead, get rid of these because we're going to want to bring our road around so from here um sure let's actually would we be able to hmm that would give me a nice curve without doubt we brought it out to there and brought it across would we get something as nice i'm not i mean we could do we could bring it over to here gives us a bit more of an oblong shape but i'm not necessarily against that um, sure, all right. Let's pop it in here, I think. Was it? Gives us a little bit. No, that was one one too shy. Need a little bit longer. So again, one down, then all the way across to there. Is that right? No, that still doesn't seem to be quite right for some reason. But I think it's near as damn it, so we'll go with that. And then I'll cross to there, and then this one, exactly the same, cross to there. Yeah, they do seem, it just uh, seems to be that this side has a slight difference in shape for some reason. Right, so our roundabout is done. Let's get rid of all of this. We no longer need it. There we are. In fact, we will get in the way. And we just connect these up, nice and simply. There we are. Cross that way too. Perfect. Okay, so we want a way up and a way down. We are going to want the uh, oh, two-way highways. That's interesting. Highway ramp. Uh, two-way highway ramp with sound. Oh, wow. That actually is brand new. I've not seen those before. Maybe I need to replace all of these with just highways. I actually think that might be a good idea. But what we want is the ramp. Now... Generally speaking, it would be nicer if we brought this out just a little bit more, perhaps, so that I could bring these down and connect them up a bit better. Because this is going to look a bit wonky, no matter what I do. Uh, maybe we could go from a little bit further up. Mm. 
Maybe from about here, perhaps. Something like that. There we go. And much the same on this side. Something like that. There we are. Over here, the same. We'll have fairly long ramps connecting these up. I think that uh, will work out generally much better for us. Now, we do need to change the direction of the traffic here, like so. And this one should be going up onto it. That one down, that's fine. This one up. There we are. Perfect. We do not want lights here at all, but we'll worry about the junctions in a moment. Uh, the main thing is that people can turn off. Right. And over here, then, we will stick with the just the one-way roads for now, but we may well alter these in time. Ooh, space already occupied. Why is that? I guess we could just go over there, but I'm a little bit surprised about that. Is it perhaps because of the... Ah, it is most likely because of the ramps there. That's a bit of a shame, but it's not something we can't cope with. So if we bring this down to there, that actually makes it a nice little curve. Down to there, and a nice little curve. Though that is... That is not a nice... That is, that is incredibly steep. Why would the game do this? I do not know, actually. Uh, let me see if I can make that a little bit better, shall we? Because that was way, way too steep. Let's come down from around here. And... Let's start bringing you down. Oh, a little bit too much. Hmm. No, that just doesn't seem to give me the right sort of curve that I would like, but uh, I guess we aren't going to get much choice in that one. All we need to do now, we'll take that around. And there we go. So, that should allow my traffic at least to get up on onto uh, this, get out from the highway and get down from this side. But I am a little bit disappointed that that is so messed up on over there because now I'm going. I kind of wish I kept. Oh, we've still got it off. Thank goodness. There we go. Then we'll uh, draw this out just so that we've got these markers in place. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm really glad we did that as a bit of a guide early on. Otherwise, that would have been kind of annoying to try and fix. Right, okay, and then all we need is, once again, pop these down, once again, pop that one down, and we're sorted. Right, I would generally like the flow of traffic to be going in the same direction, so we have something like that. But there we go, that should do everything we want, we can even make it a little bit uh, pretty, see, on that side it's much prettier. We can even make it a little bit prettier by rising some of the land at its base. Uh, and let, let's do that, actually. Let's bring the land up underneath. There we go. Okay, there we go. A little bit of detailing there. Trying to... Uh, try, just trying to break up the regularity a little bit, I guess. And I think I've done a, a decent job, I suppose. We've got a couple of uh, small stones here and there. There we go. I think that should be Good enough there. Okay, so we've got our entry point now into the city. Let me just make sure that all of the uh, paths are correct. All of the turn-ons correct. Yes, everything looks about right. Now, let's actually watch the uh, vehicles use this for now then. Okay, they're turning around on that side. Very well. Uh, okay, uh, now, one thing I haven't done, and I should have done, is upgraded all of this to one way. My bad. Right, generally speaking, we want the flow of tra traffic to be going in this direction. And we're going to have to make sure that every part of this, no, nope, come on, is correctly set up. But that should, no, the other way, thank you. Uh, bloody runway streets, always trying to pull a fast one there. And I think that's about it. That should now work more or less as intended. And vehicles should all turn the right way. There we go. Perfect. No traffic lights, though. Don't want those. That is not perfect. No, no, no. 
Want traffic lights to be gone. Same there. Same there. No traffic lights on this. Traffic should just flow freely into the city. There we go. I approve. That looks much, much better now. Okay, well, that kind of puts everything else in terms of the traffic to shame in a, a sense. But overall, things don't look terribly bad looking around. You actually don't seem to have too much congestion. I mean, there are certainly roads that are busier than other roads, but that generally fine. You're going to have that no matter what. The main thing is to look out for congestion around the place. Okay, well, I'm actually quite happy with that. Next up, then, would be to start expanding out here. That being said, I do anticipate that these roads are going to start getting a little bit more um, heavily used. So perhaps what I should do is upgrade them now to the two-way... See, I don't want two-way highway roads. Uh, two-lane... Yeah, two-lane... One-way highway with sound barriers. Yeah, these are what I want. Let's go with those. All right, so, womp. There we are. So the traffic is still moving very quickly along these roads. Because that's ultimately what they're there for. In fact, if we upgrade this road to the same sort of speed limit, we may find that trucks will prefer to go up there rather than try to go into the residential area simply because it's that much faster. Hmm. Looks like we may have achieved what we wanted. The trucks are all turning off up here now because it's it makes all the sense in the world for them to go this way instead of the other way. Marvelous, we've done it. Oh, I'm so glad. So so glad. Uh, the, at that point, uh, on that note, I think I would actually like to upgrade these ones as well. Let's just get this little tiny plate. No, no, that one pixel. There we go. All upgraded. And there we are. I am happy with that. Marvellous. Okay, so, in terms of the RCI, we actually have a reasonable demand for, um, for residential. However, what we don't have is enough power, really, for that. I mean, I could now pop these down here and we would be producing the 20 megawatts that we want. But, yeah. Let's have a quick look at the comparison between coal power plant and and oil power plant it costs a redonkulous more uh, amount more to get and about um four times as much you know give or take to actually run and it produces uh, about four times as much power hmm. actually pollutes a little bit less though interesting very interesting you know what? I think one of these would be more than enough for this whole city. So why don't we go ahead and build one of those? Uh, I am actually going to build out the road a little bit and then pop this down on the end of it rather than simply uproot these two and hope that uh, nothing goes wrong. Let's go ahead and pop that down. That should give us enough power to run for a very, very long time. However, it does require water. So let's uh, get this water pipe down there. There we go. Should be fine, I imagine. And with that, we should be able to get rid of these. Let's hope. That's one. Let's get rid of you. And that'll drop a little bit. No, not too much. And the other. There we go. Marvellous. And just enough to uh, keep everything connected. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, with that said, then, we can drop our budget back down to 100% instead of 120 to keep all of our houses going. And we're probably going to find out, yeah, we've got a little bit of room to grow. Uh, not a great deal. It could be a lot better, but I think uh, I think we've actually sorted that out a little bit. All right, okay, well, let's start as we mean to go on then down here and upgrade all of these to the one-way highways. There we are back up as well. Marvellous. I approve. Right, okay, so moving out into here, we're not going to worry too much about the forestry, honestly. This is going to be much more of a uh, specific to uh, commercial and residential. And sure, let's actually do something a little bit funky with this, shall we? Not that we really need to be any more weird with the way that we set everything up. I'm going to have... 
We could have a one-way system coming in here again, or we could have another roundabout, but let's actually try out just a pure one-way system. So we're going to take one-way roads from here, and hopefully at 45 degrees, bring that out. Uh, can we get that to connect? Yes, we can. We might not have it go that far out, honestly, uh, or we might just take it out a little bit further. Uh, this one will be the opposite in that it will flow back out. So let's rotate these around like so. And we're going to need to expand this a little bit, I'm going to say. So we'll have a little bit more, for example, going up in this direction. And obviously the uh, opposite coming back from that direction in, in that one. And 90 degrees there and 90 degrees here as well. There we go. Now this, I know it looks odd, and it is, that's because I'm experimenting and just enjoying myself. Uh, but what we will want down here is we are going to need a way for this traffic to flow back. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking of having this tunnel under because I would like a, a large sort of commercial district here. And around that I want a, a decent capacity road. But let's go for something a little bit nicer, shall we, than uh, the, the roads that we'll be using up to now. In fact, let's dig that back a little bit because it can enter the tunnel back there that way. Right, so let's go for a road like this one. There we go. Perfect. This will be the start of our commercial district in here. Uh, we'll take it out one more on either side. There we are. Let's actually slow time, time because it's, it's going to run away with me otherwise. And we'll have a simple curve. This, this is going to just be a, a central area. So we can have it be a little bit more symmetrical than the others. Uh, however, down around here, I'm probably going to pop in quite a lot of uh, com um, residential. Simply because we need it at this point. This is going to remain a one-way um, entrance into this part of the city and that as well. But uh, they can just cross over over there. Right, now we can be a little bit uh, more free with things, so... Sure, let's let's actually pop down a bit of a road going out there. Something similar coming up here. Actually, we'll go for a corner here. There, like so. And yeah, I'm just gonna spend some time, pop down some roads, and I'll bring you back when there's something pretty to look at. Okay, I think I've almost finished setting this little area up here. I'm actually quite, quite pleased with what I've managed to do so far. I think I'll add one more little cul-de-sac over here. Now, I had a couple of people who very politely pointed out that uh, from my previous video, it seemed that I didn't know what a cul-de-sac was. Um, and <laughs> before I actually address that, uh, I would actually like to say, it's one of the things that I love about my, my YouTube community, is that even when you're telling me I'm being stupid, you do so in the most charming and, and polite of ways. Well done, Dapperlings. You never cease to make me proud. But I actually do know what a cul-de-sac is. I live in one, and I have done for several years. It's just that uh, I was experimenting with a way to do it that didn't involve literally drawing out little roundabouts. I was I was really hoping that this little system would work, but it doesn't. It just doesn't give us enough room for building, so I had to extend it out. So, yeah. Don't worry, though. We've added some especially in here it's gonna it's gonna look lovely they're not quite the the sort of the, um, you know kind of shielded little places that I'd, I'd like them to be but we can possibly add in some uh, some trees and other things like that to make it make up for it now we're gonna need to take some power out there as well so let's uh, pop this down right about there draw that out and sure you know what we'll actually allow it to kind of fill out from here actually no we're gonna need to take it at least up to here I would say, because I don't really want to build anything along there. We'll have a couple of things up there, but that's that's all we're really going to be going for here. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about our water and whether we're going to have enough capacity for this expansion. I'm fairly certain we don't, so I'm going to need to earmark that for improvement. Uh, let's take this up just a little bit. There we go. We can draw this all the way up. We've got a little bit of a problem just there that I'm going to have to deal with. There we go. Just to make sure that the uh, coverage 
is complete. Now, I know this isn't perfect by by any stretch of the imagination. And there's a part of me that just feels that there needs to be a pipe right up underneath that roundabout. It has to happen, even though that is not helping me get the water around any better. It had to happen. I'm sure you can all see why. If that hadn't have happened, I may well have lost my mind. Right, okay. Let's uh, get over here. And I don't have enough mind to lose any of it, I'm afraid. None to spare. Right, pop that up there as well. And this one can actually start following the road. We're not going to be building up much over on this side for a little while. Because I just want to get the um, new residential district on the go. We will, of course, have a little bit of commercial. And I'm going to pop those along here for now so let's uh, just draw these out uh, another thing i wanted to address is a couple of people were asking about it in the comments why do i specifically uh for example over here i could have a block as i have here because each road can sustain buildings four tiles away from the road so if you do it like this then you've got the maximum use of the space whereas sometimes i just build it like this and it's simply that I don't like the idea of a single building, especially a house, having other houses, or any other building really, on three of its sides, leaving only one side to actually get natural light. Now, obviously, um, in the cases of the buildings here, I'm not sure if these are typical of, of like, for example, where you might live. Where I live, though, the, the houses are usually a bit taller, and so they block out a lot more light. Even, even like the single homes, rather, I'm not talking about apartments, they block out a lot more light. Um, often people will have trees, fairly tall trees in their, in their gardens and things. So it does create this, this wall. If you had your houses too close together, you'd have this wall where you'd only get light from one side of the house. That would be, that would be incredibly depressing. Uh, I like uh, kind of a gloomy, stormy overcast day that's just my preference but it needs to there needs to be light there still otherwise i i don't know i just just start feeling closed in a little bit but uh, that's the reason why i put down some of the roads the way i do now we've got our uh buildings there we'll leave a well we'll actually draw this one out along here perfectly uh, they, they, it does, coming back to it, cause that sort of problem there. But I'm not trying to uh, avoid it everywhere, as evidenced by the rest of my buildings. But I do, th that is the reason why occasionally I just uh, don't use the space as efficiently as I perhaps could. There we go, let's get all of this out. Marvellous. I approve, and we'll actually fill in these cul-de-sacs. I love the fact that they lined up so well. That was completely not planned, by the way. It just worked out that way, and I am so thankful for it. There we go. Actually, let's make sure that they don't build up off that road. We don't want that. No, no, no. Uh, down here, you can build up wherever you want, though. There we are. Now, this is going to put a little bit of strain on our services. Certainly, we are going to need to get a lot of services down here, a lot of service coverage. I could do this just uh, painting it. And there's lots of different ways you can pl place it. You can use the bucket fill method, which is easily the fastest. The uh, painting method, if you want to be a little bit more precise, but you still don't want to use the uh, grids for some reason, or the very large painting method, in which case it is paint everything. There we go, all the way down, including the things you didn't mean to paint. That's just how efficient it is. Uh, we will eventually be painting those anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I'm actually quite liking the, the shape of this little area. But we are going to need to bring some things over. That, that's, that's clear enough. Clear enough. Um, death care. Our oh, cemetery is used 42%. My goodness, that is a lot. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to have a cemetery down here then. Uh, we'll pop it a little little ways away. Let's, let's make it a bit nicer. Um, let's pop it over there, shall we? There we go. A house for the dead. Uh, is there anything else we particularly want to bring over? A medical laboratory? What? Biochemists and pathologists analyze clinical samples and groups of patients while creating new types of pharmaceutical medicine. The medical laboratory is a special healthcare institution which not only treats patients but also analyzes viral infections. Wow. That sounds uh, actually pretty cool. We're going to need to wait for things to build up. I should have uh, waited a little bit on that one. In fact, let's uh, speed time up. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more out there. In fact, maybe I could just prompt a little bit 
We'll just pop down two things there, maybe. And that will connect up the power. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use a pylon for it, which seems like a little bit of a waste, if you ask me. Hopefully, there we go. We bridged the gap. Marvellous. All right. Now, we will be building up this area over here for commercial, but that's going to be something that we'll do in a little while. For right this moment, I would actually like to have a little bit more commercial in there. And then some more residential around here. Right, that's going to be all that we're going to have to worry about for now. We are likely going to be branching this area up and around the commercial. And I'm thinking that the, the residential might all be one district. One very densely packed district. Or I might just have two halves. Something like that. But the commercial will be quite uh, centered in there. Now, while we're letting all of that happen, let's have a watch of our traffic, shall we? Because it's been a little while since we've checked it out. It looks like it's flowing quite freely here, which I'm really happy with. I mean, you guys have got a bit of a drive to get out, which uh, you might not be too thrilled about, but I could always help that out with a little, little bridge over there, I guess. And that might not be a terrible idea, thinking about it. Hmm. I may consider that. But for now, one of the things I would really like is just a, a little park over here, honestly. Uh, or maybe not even a little one. Let's go for a gigantic, humongous one. Maybe we could put something down here. I mean, it's giant, so... Mm, it would actually count quite a lot. Actually, a park right by here wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, in my opinion. It would pretty much cover the entire area. It's costly. It costs 40 a week. Still... I kind of like it. Yes, I like it a lot. Let's, uh, let's actually go in there and continue on these paths a little bit. Let's draw them out. Because you, you've actually got quite a, quite a few nodes with this that you can draw out from. Okay, I guess I'm bringing out that far. And the same on this side, no doubt. Uh, we'll see where the rest of them go. Uh, for now, I'd like a, just a regular sort of soil path going around the cemetery. There we are. And down they will do. Can I just connect these up? Because it oh, scallywags. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. We'll do it like this. There we are. And we'll have this path just curve off and join it. I think something like this. There we go. And uh, we might even have a couple of additional paths branching off here and there. Uh, in fact, yeah, actually, I do like the idea of having this path come down and then join up with the street about here there we go we can have uh, some residential in there perhaps that should be fine we'll also drop down a couple of trees as well because why not there we are i do like these little little lights there i think they add quite a lot of ambience to the place uh there we are though a, a cemetery with lights really oh, that ruins the ambience of the place uh, I get one or two, maybe, but uh, they look like the sort of classic style lampposts. I guess I'll forgive it, but really now. Let the dead get some rest, the scallywags. They've earned it at this point. Right, okay, so this place is starting to fill out quite nicely. Electricity, mm, it's not great. Sewage is also not amazing. Garbage processing facilities starting to struggle. Starting to struggle. It had. Uh, we can, however, afford to plonk another one down if we really want to, and I kind of do. I would much rather have these processing the garbage without uh, using landfill, if we can avoid it for now. Uh, let's have a look at some of our other options. We could go with an eco-water outlet to just pump up the, the sewage treatment, because we are going to need it. Um, but this one we're going to pop down around about here, I think. Just a little bit further away. And then hook that up with piping. We'll have to decorate it as well, naturally. Something like that. There we go. But maybe we won't put down quite as much effort as we did last time. We're going to use some rocks, I think. Uh, maybe a, a couple of larger ones. One there. Mm, they're not too different. That was a bit of a longer flatter rock i kind of like that maybe some Ooh, wow okay that that's a bit different uh we got anything else Ooh. oh i like that one that one can hide a lot yes let's pop that one down just about there 
That looks particularly good. Well done. Now we'll uh, fill that out with a couple more trees. I think we're going to go for... Well, that's a tiny tree. That is also kind of a tiny tree. Really do wish we got some bigger trees, frankly. But okay, I suppose. Um, no, I don't want to mix up the tree types too, too heavily. Honestly, I think that can sometimes go very, very wrong very quickly. Put some large bushes around. There we are. And let's get a couple of these in. There we go. That's a bit better. There we are. I think that looks okay. Though, on that note, we do have some disaster relief. Uh, no, that is to cause disasters. That is not what I want. That is that is literally the opposite of what I was looking for just then. Uh, where Where is the stuff that, that allows me to stop the disasters? Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. I don't want to cause a tornado. I got that out of my system playing SimCity a long time ago. Right, okay, so, as I said, I like the idea of there being some sort of radio mass or something with like a little light on the top. I hope this has a little light on top. Do I not snap this or something? Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, we'll have this just kind of nestled in there, and hopefully that's going to look great. This is basically a, a warning system. Uh, it will alert people of any incoming disasters that they need to respond to. Wow, they actually really, really appreciate having this. Who knew that being told when you need to get out of Dodge would make people so happy? Uh, we'll have another one somewhat similar um, in position by our water tower just down here. Pomp. That'll give me a load of coverage there. We might even see a couple of uh, people leveling up. And one more down here. Actually, this one could kind of be... Uh, Nestle just behind them. Right about there. They don't they're not too expensive. They're 208 a week, but uh you know well, you can't put a price on the safety of your citizens. Well you can. You shouldn't, but you can. And finally, I think we'll have one just about here, just before everything goes into the uh the tunnel network. I know we're not using that that lump a very oh actually they do in fact require power so okay maybe i'll move this one then i didn't really want to pop it right in the middle but i guess i could i guess i could pop it there and it is going to make people fairly happy that costs me a lot to do but it also levels these places up quite nicely my goodness now the problem is is i'm i can tell them hey bad things are gonna happen you need to get out of there but they can't actually send them anyway. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop down a small emergency shelter. Now, this can only shelter a 1,000 citizens, and that's 4,841 too small. So, we might need to pop down two of them, but they are actually getting quite expensive at this point. Now, where do I want to pop the shelters? We want a couple nearby to people. Also, are these like proper fallout shelters? Uh, in which case, I'll, I'll, well, I don't want it too close to the, the water. What if it gets waterlogged? Uh, that, would, that would not be helpful to anyone. How about we have one... Can I spot one in? I would get rid of something if I tried. Not quite what I'm aiming for there. Uh, we could possibly have one just down here. Yeah, okay, we'll pop that one there. And that should draw attention from quite a few people. Ooh, mark escape routes. When no escape routes are present, the shelter has coverage around it, like any, uh, like other service buildings. If you want to control which areas use this shelter, mark an escape route to alter the coverage area. Ah, how does one do this then? Uh, I would certainly like to uh, mark escape routes. There we go. All right. So escape routes adjust shelter coverage areas, so you can assign citizens to take shelter far away from where they live. Click on a shelter to edit its escape route. Very well. Let's do that then. Womp. Uh, small shelter for citizens. Got water, food, power. Uh, and then draw an evacuation route. Uh, do I... Ah, so it's like a bus route. I see. Something like this. Um, actually, that that's kind of going backwards. Let me... Get rid of that one to start with. Unfortunately, it looks like you're driving all the way down there 
to begin. Let's uh, have this as one of the evacuation routes. Let's try and move in one direction and not uh, go down any any alleyways or any, anything like that. Any way that would um, block me from continuing. Let's pop down here. And this shelter can just grab the last citizens from around here as well. Before it starts heading its way back. There we go. That should do, I think. I mean, I'm not really sure. We, we're going to have to discover this together, I think. Uh, much to the dismay of lots of other people, no doubt. Oh, did that go away? Oh, it did. I've still got it selected, apparently. Right there. And that's all I wanted to do. Can I stop doing it now? Uh, you have a public transport line that has not been connected as a loop, which prohibits it from working. Oh, right. I do actually need to properly build it like a bus. Very well. That uh, makes sense. I might not have built it quite the way I had, had I realized that. Okay, we'll uh, drag this back a little bit then. Generally speaking, I want a couple of stops along a single line, more or less, because then we can have it take a direct route. Or I would actually like it to take a direct route. Um, sure. We'll go down and around and then back up. There we are. And finally, come over and connect. There we go. That does give them some way. I imagine the, the civilians can rush over here, grab the the buses, I'm assuming, back to the shelter. That's actually pretty cool. I actually quite like that. Right. Should we put down another one? I'm not sure on that one. Maybe. But this is actually something I'm quite interested in. The Disaster Response Unit sends out helicopters and trucks to help clear rubble and rescue survivors. They handle both disaster aftermath and burned down buildings. After the unit has done their work, the ground is free for rebuilding. That actually wouldn't be a terrible thing to have built up somewhere. It does cause noise pollution and it is also bloody gigantic. My goodness, this thing is big. Uh, hmm. Well, they're not going to enjoy the noise pollution. But, I mean, it would be nice to have someone who could do this work. I'm just saying. We could pop it over here. Uh, no, I think I think down here makes a little bit more sense. Go on then. Pop that in. Then go and have a look at it. I mean, there you go. Uh, hopefully, that's good enough. We have spent an awful lot of money. And more than that, we've spent a lot of money out of our uh, actual uh, income. So, a little bit concerned about that one. But for the time being, I think we're okay. Now, that's going to be a massive block of residential there. Which I'm fairly happy with. Uh, we won't be putting anything on this street because it is a... One way. Oh, my lord. My citizens can't get out! <laughs> I accidentally trapped them! Marvellous! Wait, no, no, no. No, this is not an evil playthrough. That is bad. Naughty. Naughty bad. Uh, oops is the word that I think we're looking for here. Very big oops. Don't worry, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, my citizens. Oh, I wonder how many people in the comments are like, oh, my God. How long is he going to not notice this? Well, the answer is now before you. I hope, I hope uh, it met with all of your wildest expectations. Uh, sure. Let's, let's let you have a way out, shall we? That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Let's get you out of this place. <laughs> Watch them all leave. It's like, oh my god, we're no longer prisoners. We're moving to a different city. With a better mayor who actually knows how roads work. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm a bad avac. And I feel bad. Right, what we can do down here, though, is we can just have a, a little bit of building just along there still. And I'll fill these out there. There we go. I am so, so sorry, everyone. So sorry. There we are. I mean, it's, it's a nice place, I think. Uh, we no longer have... Yeah, they, they literally did just flee. Well, damn. Damn, damn, drat and blast. Uh, we'll have another commercial one or two there. And fill out this, I think, as well. And, of course, the little cul-de-sac over here. There we are. Marvellous, I think. Absolutely marvellous. Right, how are we doing for education? It's probably been a little while. Elementary school capacity is more or less there. High school has been under under um, 
capacity for quite some time. We've got two percent highly educated people in the in uh, in the city. I'm actually fairly happy with that. Four percent of our citizens have graduated, despite us not having any university. Right. Well, we'll go for an elementary school in here, I think. And once again, we're going to go for the community school. Uh, where should we place this? I could pop it just down there. It's probably make quite a few people happy. Or I can put it here. Actually, yeah, it fits in a little bit nicer there. So we'll grab that one down there. There we go. We. I'm not going to worry too much about services just yet. Though I probably should get another fire department down here. Mm, they are quite far away. Uh, let's see. We could have a... No, we don't need a fire station. Not even remotely. But I can have this somewhere around here. I don't look where it would fit. Now, I could pop it in there, but I'd have to get rid of the path, which I'd rather not do right now. Um, actually then, instead, I could have this, perhaps along this road here. This is going to serve as a, a couple of things. Yeah, actually, I think that's a decent place to pop it. Because it'll be able to access the whole commercial district that we plan to build as well. There we go. Things are looking a little bit better. People are exceedingly happy. And I am happy because they are happy. Marvellous. But okay, I think with that, we've actually done a fair bit in this episode. We have made what I feel is a fairly nice little uh, crossover on the highway. We've sorted out a couple of congestion issues, though eh, that's a little bit nasty. I wouldn't mind sorting that out a, a bit, but uh, for the time being, it's not too bad. Traffic is generally moving quite freely. Um, there's a little bit of congestion there, but it's, it's nothing I, I feel that we need to worry about. Uh, how about up here? Tr cars are moving quite well. Generally speaking, yeah, I'm actually fairly happy. We also put in some disaster warning towers and one shelter. We'll probably put down a couple of those um, fairly soon. And also a disaster response unit, which will uh, help out with fires too. We've switched over from coal to uh, natural gas, uh, sorry, to oil power plants. We would like to go to natural gas. Slightly less polluting. Uh, we have got a lot of energy now though, though I, I suspect that we are going to start pulling into that before too long. Water-wise, we're fine. And we've just added a couple of services around here just to help out a little bit. But that's where I'm going to have to leave it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next one. We're going to continue building up this area. More than likely, we're going to be uh, expanding out the residential even further. And then starting to look at building up a kind of central commercial hub rather than just having corner shops in each of the residential districts. But we'll have to see. But as ever, do remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't. And until next time, do take care.